Hey guys, so this is a little bit of unexpected episode. I want to show you something that just broke my heart. I about cried when I saw it. So let's take a closer look. So right over here, you see how these leaves are all chewed up and missing? This guy over here, I don't know how well you can see it, but there is hardly anything left. So what happened is I had tomato hornworms and I had no idea because I never had to deal with it and these guys are so hard to see and I I was literally going leaf by leaf looking at them and I couldn't see anything because they eat the tomato leaves so they're exactly the same color as the tomato leaf you can't see them anyway I did an emergency treatment it's an organic treatment and uh, I will show you how to mix it but first I want to show you what to look for and that would be your number one clue that you have tomato horn worms so as you can see in the picture over here these little black dots this is the caterpillar poop so if you see poop like this in one of the leaves you look right above it so let's say if you see the poop here you look above this leaf and underneath because they're underneath the leaf and they're very hard to see but you will see it and uh, yeah this is what they're doing they're eating your tomato plant and they're pooping on your tomato plant at the same time hard to see but uh, i did an emergency treatment and it worked i don't see any i was able to pick three and i will show you how i found those three guys over here you see pictures somewhere i'm gonna put them right in the screen and uh, the best thing to do is kill them some people say to relocate them to another leafy area well i don't have another leafy area that is available for destroying so i just uh, smashed them i'm really sorry but i did and uh, because when i saw them chewing on my tomato leaves i felt like they were taking bites off my heart because i babysat these things from seeds for months anyway but uh, i will show you uh, how to make the organic uh, treatment for your tomato plants that clearly it's working it's been about two or three days now and i haven't seen any of them and uh, then another uh, way to find them at night which is pretty cool actually i did it it was a bit scary because it was completely dark outside but it's a pretty cool way to find them and i did find a couple this way i saw a gentleman on youtube he was doing this with his uh, bush beans because this is when they eat the most at night so i will show you how i did that you're going to need cayenne pepper and you're going to need garlic and you're going to need dishwash soap and you will need half a gallon of water and you will need some sort of a blender or magic bullet uh, anything that you can mix everything in so let's get started so the recipe my mom gave me calls for one gallon of water and one teaspoon of uh, all the ingredients however i'm uh, doing half of the recipe because i don't need that much so i'm going to do half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper so i would assume this is about half a teaspoon of minced garlic and i'm gonna add half a teaspoon of dishwash soap and i'm gonna add just a little bit of my water so i can mix it up just about a quarter of a cup not too much and now i'm gonna go inside and blend it and i will be right back so now i have it all blended it doesn't look like much it smells horrible i think this is what uh, keeps the tomato hornworms away anyway but uh, the next thing you have to do is you have to strain it and ideally you would use paper coffee filter one of those that fits in these things but i don't have any because i don't use this coffee machine anymore i only drink espresso now so i'm using this one from the old coffee machine but you can use cheesecloth or to be honest with you any cloth for that matter and uh, just because there's still particles in there and that are not going to go through your uh, spray bottle so we will put this guy over here and run it through and now you have to let it sit for an hour so all the stuff the cayenne pepper the garlic everything can mix and dissolve very well in there and uh, i'm gonna go clean up my mess and i'll be right back so it's been an hour and now i'm gonna pour my concussion inside my half a gallon bottle close it and mix it well and now that this one it's all mixed i'm gonna put it in my spray bottle and let's go to the garden and do some spraying and before i start spraying i want to give you a couple of tips guys the first one is uh, don't spray anything on your plants uh, during the day not just this any anything that will get the leaves wet 
don't do it uh, when the sun is over your plants because it's going to burn the leaves wait until evening time and the second thing is don't spray your entire garden spray one plant wait for 24 hours see what happens and uh, and then continue to spray but we start spraying by spraying the bottom of the leaves I will spray the rest of the plant and I'll be right back so I will do this demonstration on my bush beans because it's way too dark where the tomatoes are what you basically do is you take your flashlight and put it underneath the leaves if there is anything underneath the leaf you will see a shadow this is how I found uh, two of the two of the worms on my tomato plants so the key is early detection the best way is to just pick them off the plant so you don't have to spray the reason I sprayed is because I wasn't sure if there are any eggs underneath the leaves or not but uh, it seems to be working just fine I sprayed all the plants and um, didn't cause any burn I was a little concerned about the cayenne pepper but it didn't burn them at all and uh, they seem to be doing just fine uh, so if you guys find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to my channel please do so so you can watch more videos like this thank you guys I will see you next time bye I mentioned about the curling of the leaves of my tomato plants, how that was caused by overwatering them, so 